What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a sketch illustration of Tom the Cat from Tom and Jerry. For today's lesson, we'll need a sketch pad and a pencil. I'll be drawing with this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. And if you want more details on our art supplies, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. Now the secret to creating better sketches is to start with the basic shapes first before we add in the details. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. We'll start from the very top. I'm just gonna lightly work my way down towards the bottom. Now we're gonna go back to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. And we're gonna use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of a page to define the size of the head. From that center point, let's move up towards the top. I'm just gonna to mark off the top of our circle right about here. Let's measure that same distance from the center down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now I wanna repeat that across this horizontal line, measuring the distance from the center over towards the left and then the right. Now you want to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left. And our circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement in the center of our page. Okay, well, let's go back and just smooth this out. Now with this portrait, we're going to be turning the head over towards the right side. So let's take that center seam and bend it over towards the right. We're going to connect the top and bottom with a curve going out towards the right side come down and then back in. So we've kind of gone about halfway between the center and the right side. Now from this center point, we're gonna sketch out a small oval for the nose, going around and then back up. From the center of the nose along the bottom, let's draw the top edge of the mouth. We're gonna come down and just bend that up towards the left. Now we wanna tuck the right side in underneath. We're gonna start up here, Put this down and then up towards the side of our circle. Let's go to the top corner of the mouth. We're going to draw the bottom. We're going to come all the way down towards the bottom of our circle and then bend that back up underneath the right side. Let's go to the side of our nose, curve the cheeks. We're going to go up and then down towards that center line on both sides. From the center of a circle, we're going to draw a large oval for the eye. Let's go all the way around towards the top, round this out, and then bring that back down on top of the cheek. Now we're going to go over towards the right side and draw the same thing. We're going to go a little bit smaller, going up and then back down. Let's trace the bottom of the mouth, coming down and up for the lip. Now you want to pull the fur out across the cheeks. From the side of the lip, let's bend this up toward the left and then down. Do the same thing on the right, going up and then down. Now from here, we're going to curve this up and then bend that in on top of the cheeks. Do the same thing on the right, going up and then down. Now I want to place that large ear on top of the head. So from the center of our circle, we're going to step out, come down to create an overlap, bend the ear going up and then out towards the tip. And then from the tip, bend the ear coming in and down, round up the ear and then pull that in on top of the cheeks. Now we're going to turn the right ear in behind the head. Let's start at the very top, bend this up and across, come in and then down. Now we're gonna shift the pupil and iris over towards the left side. So starting down here, let's draw a smaller oval, going up and then back down in behind the cheek. Do the same thing on the right. Let's sketch a smaller oval along the inside, coming down towards the bottom. And then to finish off a rough sketch, we're just gonna add a curve for the tongue. Starting from the left side, bend this up and then down. Now that we have a rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly raise some of these guidelines. Now we use this rough sketch as a guide to help us add some more details and refine the shape. Now I want to start with the nose. So we're just going to go around the side and we want to pull that down towards a center point in the middle. Let's add a small oval on the top for that highlight. And then from here, it's going to start adding some shape to the mouth coming down across the left. I'm just gonna bend that out towards the corner of the mouth. 
Go on the right side, coming down, up, and then bend that in towards the nose. And we're just going to layer the cheek on top of the eye and the mouth. Let's add a little bit of fur across the inside, coming down towards the chin. I'm just going to shade the inside of the pupils. I'm going to move out to the cheek and add some points coming down towards the bottom and also across the bottom of the cheeks coming in towards the chin. Add some shape to the eyebrows along the top just above each eye. And then we're just going to add that trim in between the eyes with these three curves. And then we're going to add a fold along the inside of the ears, also some fur along the side, working our way down towards the cheeks. And now adding some hair across the top of the head, starting from the ear, pulling this up and over, and we'll just add these points. I'm just drawing it on top of that back ear. Let's go back and just clean up our drawing one final time before we darken up our contrast and add some more detail. And now on our final pass, we're gonna go back in and start darkening up our contours. Just refine the shape and continue to add some more detail. So we're just going to darken up the bottom of the nose going around that highlight. And then from the nose, we're just going to work our way out. Now I'm just using these thick and thin lines going around to create these contours. So going a little bit thicker along the bottom edge and then coming up towards the point. We're just going to darken up the inside of the mouth. And go back to that thick and thin across the lower lip. So again, going thicker along the bottom edge, just to give it a little bit of weight and just tapering up towards a point on the side of the mouth.
Now with the eyebrows, I want to add a few points across the top. Just to make it look like fur. So we're just going to go up towards a point. Bring that back in. Just adding a few points across the top. And we'll just darken up the inside of the eyebrows. Now in this last step, I'm going to use the side edge of my pencil to add some various tones. So just darken up the inside of the iris. As well as the tongue. I'm also going to shade in the inside of the ear. And just placing a little bit of shadow along the bottom of the head. So start from the cheeks and just blend that up. And then we're just going to layer our whiskers on top. Start from the side of the muzzle and just curving these out. And once we finish adding in the whiskers, we'll be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Tom the Cat from Tom and Jerry. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want more details on the art supplies we used, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.